What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarter. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Uh, I'm currently at uh, CPR training, uh, getting recertified. So I'm filming uh, this on Friday. So I didn't want to uh, leave you without entertainment on Saturday. <clears throat> but it appears that James Corden is a huge douche, uh, or at least acts like one. This is a story that, like, won't go away, and it just keeps getting escalated. And it's like, most people look at this and they're like, oh, Hollywood elite guy who makes $40 million a year. Of course, they're insufferable. Um, but it's, it's like gotten to the point where he had allegedly apologized and then he rescinded the apology. I'm not even sure. It's like James Corden keeps digging. Okay, this is via Bro from Brodigan over at Lauder with Crowder. The quote alleged tiny cretin of a man and quote most abusive customer ever made the news this week when he was banned from a fancy schmancy new york city restaurant he could have been quiet apologized to anyone he offended by being a douche while when his show returns monday and let it be instead he got snippy with the new york times saying quote i haven't done anything wrong on any level says james corden which is odd because he allegedly apologized profusely for what he did he also claims to have not read the social media post that even started the drama, which was written by the restaurant owner who, whom he also apologized to. So, liar? To recap, Keith McNally, own, owner of Balthazar, a fancy schmancy restaurant, went scorched earth on James Corden over the douchey and entitled way he treated his staff. It was over a silly mistake finding a dot of egg white in an egg yolk omelet. You know, do, do rich people not understand this concept of like, you don't screw with people who make your food? Like, food has to be like really messed up for me to say anything. Like, let's say I ordered a steak. And I said, I, I would always order a medium rare. I'm not Count Dankula with this well done crap. But like, it came out medium. I'm not sending that back. Even if it's a $50 steak. It's just not doing it. Um, now, I, I, I understand that, you know, you could say you'd be entitled to do that. But it's like, I don't know if, I grew up working, working in restaurants. Like, my first job was washing dishes. And then I washed dishes at another restaurant. And then I washed dishes in. This is the jobs you get when you're 14, 15, 16. And you want to put, you know, you want to save up money for a car. Uh, you want to have some money for video games or for trading cards, whatever the case is. I worked and I washed dishes. I worked in restaurants. Now, I will say, I never, I never saw any like retaliatory cook stuff, but all my friends worked at Applebee's when we were in high school. And I definitely heard of plenty of it. So it's like, I don't screw with people's food. Or I don't screw with the people who make my food. Um, maybe once you're like so rich, you just don't care and you're like a jerk to everybody. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, Corden allegedly apologized to McNally and the owner lifted the suspension. But then the internet started doing internet things. Corden got Ellen DeGeneres as people came out of the woodwork with alleged claims about what a terrible person he was. It included claims of Corden, who is fat, being disgusted by fat people and not wanting to look at them. That's quite a claim. Uh, Corden announced earlier this year that he will be leaving a show in 2023. He tells the New York Times he might address the matter on Monday, but he hasn't decided. I mean, it's actually insane. You see, report James Corden, who is chunky, demands other fatties move to where they aren't on camera. It's open season to drop here to, to, to dunk on James Corden ever since news broke that the alleged, quote, tiny cretin of man acts like a douche towards middle class blue collar workers. The haters are coming out of all corners of the Internet. People are Ellen DeGenerasing him. The Daily Mail was gracious enough to collect the hate in one article. One complaint stood out. Haters are going to go through the Corden's bad trip advisor reviews and people got tickets to the show. Here's what James had to say in review. Title, quote, his ego is clearly bigger than the audience. Quote, I managed to get in and I was seated in the second row with my partner. Anyone who is overweight of Gordon's stature or larger, let's say, was ushered to seats in the back. At one point before things kicked off, 
I actually overheard James Corden say to his staff, I don't want to have to look at him, implying they ought to move to another seat. Now, if that's actually true, that's super heinous. I mean, that's like, I mean, dude, take a, I mean, what do you think when you look in the mirror, bro? Like, that's, that's actually insane um, uh, that you would say that. You know, if true, again, people come out and say all sorts of things. Like, there were all sorts of people going on Reddit saying, oh, he was just, you know, uh, a huge jerk. It's hard to, you know, it's hard to know if everything's truthful. If true, it would be quite disappointing. Corden had assumed the mantle's defender of the plus-sized against fat shamers when he went on Bill Maher. Uh, Maher had done one of his common sense rants about health. Can fat be beautiful? Beautiful. That's in the eye of the beholder. But healthy? No. That's science. I know this is a controversial thing to say in America, but being fat, that's a bad thing. Corden was not amused and spoke out on behalf of everyone living at their best large and in charge life. Quote, I've struggled my entire life trying to manage my weight and I suck at it. We're not as lucky as Bill Maher, you know. We don't all have the sense of superiority that burns 35,000 calories a day. Define Corden himself is also a fat shamer that besides being a douche to servers is nothing more than another Hollywood hypocrite. I mean, if you look at this actual article, I mean, this is just, this is just like endlessly coming out. And I wonder, is this some sort of weird smear because he's leaving the show? I don't know. I don't watch late night television. It's, it's completely unfunny and unentertaining, but you see this, you know, this, um, you know, trip advisor, uh, reviews from audience members of the show paint a picture of an egotistical host who fails to interact with the crowd unless the cameras are rolling. Someone said his short organizers deliberately set unattractive people in the back of the studio with one person claiming they had overheard Corden say he didn't want to have to look at an overweight man who had shown up for a taping. I mean, yikes. You see this. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of James Corden, Went more to see a TV show being taped than I can see why some people are disappointed. James doesn't really interact with the audience. In fact, he didn't even wave, acknowledge us, or thank us when leaving the studio, which I thought was a bit unnecessary. He is clearly there to get a job done and get out. Atmosphere is generated by the audience, and if it's your sole purpose of being there, if you're not laughing, clapping, and cheering like crazy, that's your mission. You won't be able to hear James over it at times, too. You see here, skippable. The experience was fine in terms of seeing a filming. The staff was great, kind, gracious, and helpful. Could not hear the host or guests, and Corden did interact with the did not interact with the audience at all. His ego is bigger than the audience. I mean, yeah, you can see James. Here's the original post: James Corden is a hugely gifted comedian. I disagree, but a tiny cretin of a man and the most abusive customer to my Balthazar servers since the restaurant opened 25 years ago. I don't often 86 a customer, but today I 86 to Corden. It doesn't make me laugh. Here are two examples. And he talks about, you know, about the tiny bit of egg white and his, you know. And then he said, Corden just called and apologized profusely and he brought him back. It's like, did he not call then? Because then he says this. James Corden says it's, quote, beneath him to care about New York City restaurant drama. I did nothing wrong. Look, it's true. Okay, if you order food a certain way and they and it does not get delivered that way, it is true that if you send it back, you did do nothing wrong. But there's also a way to do that. Like uh for example, if you have a rapport at a restaurant, you know, they know you're not just being a jerk, then you can send stuff back, you know, when it's when it's wrong or whatever. But like blowing up at people and, and belittling them and arguing with them and being rude about it. Like what he had said to one of the servers was like, uh, here, where is this? Uh, he asked for his, he asked for a table outside. They took the party table. Mr. Corden's wife ordered an egg yolk omelet with Gruyere cheese and salad. A few minutes after they received the food, James called the server and told them that there was a little bit of egg white mixed in with the egg yolk. MK informed the floor manager, they remade the dish, but unfortunately sent with home fries instead of salad. That's when James Corden began yelling at like crazy at the server. You can't do your job. You can't do your job. Maybe I should go in the kitchen and cook the omelet myself. Uh, the server was very apologetic and brought uh, the someone over to the table. He returned the dish. And after that, everything was fine. He gave them uh, promo champagne glasses to smooth things out. Why? 
I would just say, you know what? You can't treat my servers like that. And so now he says, oh, it's all beneath me. I haven't done anything wrong at any level according to New York Times, so why would I ever cancel this interview? Uh, was I was there, I get it. I feel so zen about the whole thing because I think it's so silly. I just think it's beneath all of us. It's beneath you. It's beneath your publication, he added. I mean, yikes. He has actually had a long history of having like cringe arguments. There's like a weird argument, I think, with him and Patrick Stewart uh, during an award ceremony and all this stuff. I mean, like, I'm not surprised that he's a douche, but for a guy that makes $40 million a year, maybe, like, go out of your way to be a little kinder to people. But I'm not surprised at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and uh, subscribe if you want more updates, and we'll talk to you again real soon.